On today's video, we're going to fillet out a crappie. Hey there outdoor YouTubers. Well, like I said earlier, on today's video we're going to flay out a crappie. I've got my cotton glove, got my fork, got the flay knife, I've got this clampable fish cleaning board, and I've got the crappie. First of all, if you've ever watched any of my other fish cleaning videos, you'll know I kind of like to wear one of these white cotton gloves on this hand okay this is kind of the hand I use to handle the fish um, it does a couple things um, you get a pretty good grip on the fish it might uh, save you from getting poked by a fin or or some scales or something or maybe even some teeth and you know the cotton gloves they will kind of soak up the slime a little bit like I say so you, you keep a better grip on the fish and you know you buy these things in bulk they're really cheap even if you just buy a pair of them I think they're like a buck fifty so I do like to use the white glove uh, when I'm cleaning fish you know kind of the Michael Jackson thing just the one white glove and the fork the fork we're gonna use a little later on in the video um, we'll get into that of course the fillet knife make sure you have a sharp fillet knife and by a fillet knife, I mean a knife that has a little flex to the blade, okay? Something that's going to transfer uh, a little bit of feeling back when you're coming in contact with bones. So, sharp knife, very important. And then, when I am cleaning pan fish, I do like to use this, like, clampable fillet board. Um, you stick the head of the fish in the clamp. Now, they're, uh, they're secured pretty good gives you even a little bit more control over the fish so I do like to use that clamp alright so we're gonna take the tip of the fish's head stick it in our clamp there and we're gonna take our fillet knife we're going to go under this fin and we're gonna kinda angle in under the scales we don't want to cut straight down into the scales the scales kind of face backwards right they kind of point backwards so we're going to get under that fin and we're just going to slowly try to kind of creep under those scales and make our first cut and we're going down right about to the spine you'll feel the knife hit the spine all right so then i want to go right here and i'm going to work my way back okay but I'm only going to go in about this far. The rib cage starts right here. So I'm just going to go in about this far, work my way back. When you get past the bung hole, you can go all the way across and then we'll come back. And we're kind of going to be riding that spine down as we come back toward the tail. Start there. Just kind of back and forth. Like I said, we're not going in real deep right here. So we get about that far back then we can go all the way across all right and then we're going to kind of angle that knife down all right and just kind of go back and forth kind of riding that spine so now we're going to slowly work this knife over the rib cage opening this side up and then we're going to take it off the fish okay so we'll open this up and we'll just start working and the ribs are right there okay and not too long after you start going up and over the ribs you're gonna to come to these small pin bones I'm cutting them right there there's one there's two there's three these small pin bones right there along that line and we're gonna come back to those and get them out afterward okay but they're right there not too long after you get started on the ribs so we're just working our way up and over these ribs and take your time because crappies are a very thin fish so if you want to save some of the meat alongside these ribs you gotta kinda of hug them pretty close and like I showed you earlier that's the rib cage right there okay 
So we're going over the top of that rib cage and then those pin bones are right in a line right along here. So when we got the knife to right about there we started cutting into those pin bones. We're cutting right through those ones. We're going to get those out in a minute. Right along there. Okay, so that's one side. Flip this over. Okay. And I'm going to spin it around this way and it's kind of going to be the same thing. Under this fin, angle in under the scales okay and then we're gonna work our way back just about to right there work our way back get past those ribs can go all the way across hug our way down and we're gonna open this up up and over these ribs ribs are starting right there okay we're just slowly working our way and we're coming to those pin bones now. We're cutting through them right now. But I'm still hugging the ribs there pretty good. Okay, right, right there those pin bones. Okay, we're just kind of working our way back. Nice and slow. And try to save some meat on the side of these ribs. Not always real easy to do with crappies. Nice and easy. Okay, get to about there. I'm gonna cut it off. All right. Okay, this is where that fork comes into play. Just kind of use it as a placeholder. And what we're doing is we're shucking the meat out of the skin. And once you get started, you can just kind of grab it with your fingers then. And you're just kind of working back and forth. Just trying to remove that meat from the skin. And it really helps if you can get on the edge of your cutting surface. That way you can get that knife nice and flat against the skin. And just take your time. We're trying to not cut through the skin, but we're trying to keep as much meat as we can. Just take your time back and forth. And there. Looks like we got uh, all the meat off the skin. Very good. And of course, you want to get that skin off of both sides, and you want to get those pin bones out of both sides. Now we still have those pin bones in here. We definitely want to get those out. And if you remember right, okay, here's the ribs. The ribs used to be right here. And then they're just kind of at this top edge of the ribs, okay? And they only go back about this far. So we're just going to take a little sliver out of here, okay? It's right along this line, right there. I'm just going to take out this little sliver on either side of that line and if you're not sure you can actually feel those pin bones with the tip of the knife they're just barely sticking out you can probably hear it there okay so we're just slivering that out alright we're taking that right out that's got pin bones in it and this is a nice bone-free slab of crappie. And keep this in mind too guys, when you're cutting off this side of crappie, all right, this is the area where the rib cage was. Sometimes back here those rib bones get a little bit small, okay, and they can be pretty easy to cut right through instead of up and over, all right, so you might leave a rib bone in the meat back in here. All right. A lot of times you'll notice it when you cut this wedge out, when you get these pin bones out, a lot of times you'll notice it. Or even if you just run your knife kind of through here, you'll kind of hear it if there's a rib bone in there. But kind of do that, just check, all right? Because like I say, the ones back here on that back end of the rib cage can get pretty thin and they're pretty easy to cut through. So just kind of give it the once over and make sure you didn't leave uh, a piece of rib in here. All right, guys, these are gonna be just perfect for the frying pan, right? Okay. Well, I hope this helps you out next time you're doing a little crappie filleting. Be 
shark. Very good. So guys, if you're interested in more videos about getting out and enjoying the great outdoors of Michigan's Upper Peninsula, be sure to check out the entire channel. And if you enjoy what you see, please consider liking and subscribing. And for bonus content, be sure to check out our Patreon page. A link to this page can be found in the description of this video. And also guys, remember to hunt, fish, laugh, repeat. Thanks for watching and God bless.